Google just dropped a ton of free AI updates and they're absolute game changers. We're talking smarter models, AI agents that work for you and tools that will blow your mind. Some of this stuff I didn't even think was possible yet. Stick around because I'm breaking down all of it and showing you exactly how to use it to automate your business. Google just went absolutely crazy with their December updates. And I'm not talking about small tweaks. I'm talking about features that are going to change how you work, how you create content, how you automate your entire business. And the best part, most of this stuff is completely free. So let me walk you through every single update and I'll show you exactly how to use them. Starting with the biggest one, Gemini 3 Flash is now the default model. Now you might be thinking, okay, cool. What does that even mean? Here's what it means. Gemini 3 Flash is faster than the old model, is smarter than the old model. And it's now the default across the entire Gemini ecosystem. That means when you open the Gemini app, when you use Google AI Studio, when you search with AI overviews, you're getting PhD level intelligence at lightning speed. Let me give you a real example. I uploaded a video of a pickleball match and I asked Gemini to analyze the player's technique. It broke down footwork, swing mechanics, strategic positioning, all in like 10 seconds. Now imagine using this for your business. Let's say you run the AI Profit Boardroom. You could upload a video of your latest webinar, ask Gemini to create a summary, pull out the best quotes, generate social media posts, create email follow-ups, all automatically. That's the power of Gemini 3 Flash and it's live right now. Okay, next update, CC from Google Labs. This one is wild. CC stands for like carbon copy in email. But this is way cooler than that. It's basically an AI agent that works as your personal assistant. Here's how it works. Every morning you get a briefing email. It pulls info from your Gmail, your Google Calendar, your Google Drive, and it gives you a summary of your day. But here's where it gets crazy. You can reply to that email and give it tasks. Like let's say the briefing mentions a client meeting at 2 p.m. You could reply and say, hey, pull the proposal. We sent them last week and create talking points for the meeting and CC will do it, it will find the document, summarize it, create an agenda, all while you're drinking your coffee. Now, this is only available in the US and Canada right now, and you need to join the waitlist at labs.google.com, but trust me, this is worth getting on. Imagine automating all the admin work in your business, no more digging through emails, no more searching for files, CC does it for you. For the AI Profit Boardroom, you could ask CC to pull engagement stats from last week's training, find the most active members, draft personalized thank you messages and queue them up for you to send. That's automation on steroids. A quick pause. If you're watching this and thinking, man, I wish I knew how to actually use all these tools to automate my business. I've got something for you. The AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we teach you step by step how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini, Notebook LM and everything I just covered. We're talking real automation strategies, not theory, actual systems you can plug into your business today. Check the link in the description if you want in. Now back to the updates, All right, moving on. Opal is now in the Gemini app. Now Opal is Google's no-code tool for building custom AI assistants. They call it Vibe Coding, which honestly is a perfect name because you literally just describe what you want and Opal builds it for you, no coding required. Let me show you how this works. Let's say you wanna create a custom gem. That's what Google calls these AI assistants. You open Opal, you say, I want a SEO coach that helps me optimize blog posts for search engines and Opal creates it. You can drag and drop steps, add custom instructions, tell it what tone to use, what format to output, everything. Then you save it as a gem and now you have a personal SEO assistant inside the Gemini app. You could create a gem called Community Engagement Expert. You tell it to review new member questions, suggest helpful resources, draft welcoming responses and format them in your brand voice. Then every time a new question pops up, you just run it through your gem, instant high quality response, zero effort. This is a game changer for anyone running an online community or business. Next up, Notebook LM just added data tables. Okay, this one is so useful. Notebook LM is Google's AI note taking tool. And now it can turn your messy notes into organized tables. Here's the use case. Let's say you record a client meeting you upload the transcript to Notebook LM and you ask it to create a table of action items. It'll pull out every task, who's responsible, the deadline, the priority level, and organize it into a perfect table. Or let's say you're comparing different tools for your business. You upload reviews, pricing pages, feature lists, 
and you ask Notebook LM to create a comparison table. Boom, done. You could upload training session notes from the past month and ask Notebook LM to create a table showing which topics got the most engagement, which questions came up repeatedly, and which areas need more content. Now you have a data-driven content strategy without doing any manual analysis. This is the kind of stuff that saves hours of work. Next, Flow Now has 2K and 4K upscaling. Flow is Google's image generation and editing tool. And they just added something incredible. You can now upscale images to 2K resolution completely free. And if you have Gemini Ultra, you can go all the way to 4K. This is huge for content creators. Let me tell you why. You know those AI generated images that look kind of blurry when you zoom in? That's because they're low resolution. But now with Flow, you can take any image, upload it, and upscale it to ultra high resolution. Imagine creating course thumbnails, social media graphics, presentation slides, all in crystal clear 4K quality. You could generate an image of a professional workspace, upscale it to 4K, and use it as the hero image on your landing page. Or create custom graphics for each training module, upscale them all, and make your entire course look incredibly professional. This level of quality used to require expensive design software. Now it's free at flow.google.com. Now here's where things get really fun. YouTube's Playables Builder prototype. This is in early testing, but it's absolutely insane. You can now use text or video prompts to create playable games. Yeah, you heard that right. Games powered by Gemini 3 Pro. Here's how it works. You describe a simple game concept, like a maze game where you collect coins. And Gemini generates a working prototype. Then you can embed it directly on YouTube. Now I know what you're thinking, well, why would I need this for business? Here's why. A gamification is one of the most powerful engagement tools out there. Imagine creating a mini game for the AI Profit Boardroom where members complete challenges, answer quiz questions, unlock achievements, and compete on a leaderboard. You could turn learning into a game, make it addictive, and watch your completion rate skyrocket. This is next level community engagement, and it's all powered by AI. Let's talk about the Gemini app updates because there are three big ones here. First, visual deep research. This is like regular deep research, but for images and visual content. You can ask Gemini to research a topic and it will pull together visual examples, infographics, charts, diagrams, all organized for you. Second is Nana Banana drawing and annotations. You can now draw directly on images inside the Gemini app, circle things, add arrows, write notes. This is perfect for giving feedback or explaining visual concepts. And third, the Gemini agent is now on mobile. This means you can have an AI assistant working on task while you're on the go. For the AI Profit Boardroom, you could use visual deep research to gather examples of successful online communities, see how they structure their content, what their branding looks like, how they engage members, then use the annotation tool to mark up the best ideas and send tasks to the agent to implement them all from your phone. This is the future of mobile productivity. Now here's something really important. Synthid video verify. Google just launched a tool that lets you verify if videos or images were created with AI. You upload a video or image and Synthid checks for invisible watermarks. It will tell you if it was made with Google's AI tools and if it's been edited since creation. This is massive for trust and transparency. Think about it. As AI generated content floods the internet, how do you know what's real? For the AI Profit Boardroom, you could use this to verify testimonials, check if demo videos are authentic, or prove that your content is original. This builds trust with your audience and protects you from fake content. As AI gets better, this kind of verification is going to be essential and Google is leading the way. Okay, now for the tech nerds, the Gemma model family just got three major updates. First function Gemma, this is a specialized version for Edge AI agents, basically AI that runs locally on your device, no internet required. Second, T5 Gemma 2, this is a multimodal model that works with text images and more. And third, Gemma Scope 2, these are interpretability tools that help you understand how AI models make decisions. Now, why should you care about this? Because these open source models mean developers can build custom AI tools for your specific needs. Let me bring this all together for you because I know that was a lot of information. Here's what matters. Google just gave you an entire AI toolkit for free or nearly free. You've got 
Gemini 3 Flash for instant intelligent answers, CC for automated email management, Opal for building custom AI assistants, Notebook LM for organizing information, Flow for professional graphics, Playables Builder for engagement, Visual Tools in the Gemini app, Synth ID for verification, and Open Models for custom development. So here's my challenge to you. Pick one tool from this video, just one, and implement it in your business this week. Start with CC if you're drowning in emails. Try Opal if you need custom AI assistance. Use Notebook LM if you're overwhelmed with information. Or play with Flow if you need better visuals. Don't try to do everything at once. Master one tool, see the results, then add another. That's how you build real automation, one tool at a time. And look, I get it. This stuff can feel overwhelming. There are so many updates, so many features, so many possibilities. But that's exactly why communities like the AI Profit Boardroom exist. Because figuring this out alone is hard. But when you're in a community of people who are all learning together, sharing wins, troubleshooting problems, testing new tools, it becomes way easier. You're not reinventing the wheel. You're learning from people who've already done it. And that's everything Google just dropped. Which update are you most excited about? CC, Opal, the Gemini app features? Drop a comment and let me know. And if you want the full process SOPs and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. These are real people using real AI tools to build real businesses, and they're sharing everything they learn. So if you're serious about AI automation, that's where you need to be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.